So today I'm just going to quickly show you the new application that was released today for the iPad called uh, OneNote. Now if you don't know what OneNote is, it's a note-taking application uh, that's been on the iPhone for a couple of months now and they've finally released it for the iPad. So OneNote is mainly the desktop version for the PC and you can take notes, you can add images into your pages and all of that business. And then what you can do is actually store your notebooks that are on your PC up into the cloud, so Microsoft servers with your Live ID account. And then you can connect your iPad and your iPhone uh, to the cloud and you can pull it down so it's all synchronized in all the different locations. So you can download this from the App Store, it's completely free. Once you've installed it, you open it up and you click on Sign In. And then once you put your password in, just tap on Sign In. Now this does seem to take quite a while to actually log in. Now I don't know if that's because I've got quite a few notebooks that it's pulling down, my internet connection or the actual application itself, or it could even be the Microsoft servers at this time of night. I don't actually know, uh, but it takes, I don't know, it takes about 30 seconds to actually log in. So as you can see now that we're logged in, you can see all of my notebooks here on the left hand side. And like I said, these are being synchronized and pulled down from the cloud. And then down here we have notebooks, unfiled, recent, and we have search. So if we just go onto one of these, for example, I don't know, let's just go to the web design one. And I don't think I've actually got anything in here. If I go to new section, there's actually nothing in there, so let's not do that. If we go to SharePoint server, here we go. So we've actually got something in this one. So if we, so that was the notebook we just went into. And then these are the sections that we have having the notebook. So for example, I don't know, if we go to installation, and then in here we have the pages. So let's just type our, tap on this one here. And as you can see now, it opens up the, the actual content in the big area here. So I was expecting when I initially looked at this to be able to pinch and zoom, but you don't seem to be able to do that. You can scroll up and down, which is okay. Um, but it would have been nice to be able to pinch and zoom, but never mind. Um, what you can do on the images themselves, you can double tap on the image, and as you can see, it opens it up and you get a full size image, which is quite nice. And then you can just tap on the little cross here to come out of there. So that's how you navigate through. And then you've got your back button here, which takes you back to the pages, sections, and then back to the notebooks. So let's just say we wanted to add something into this particular notebook. We can tap on the actual page here, which brings up the keyboard. I've got it in the split view. And then you can just sort of tap away, and that's now going to add it in. And then obviously we can just pull the keyboard down. Now, now that I've added this change here, what it's going to do is actually synchronize all the changes that I've made up to the cloud, which will then synchronize it down to my iPhone and to my PC in my office uh, where I've got OneNote installed. Now, you've got the unfiled section here where just things that haven't been put into particular notebooks. Recent is fairly self-explanatory, recent things that have changed. Now you have got a search as well, so you can search through all of your notebooks. And the nice thing is, it actually searches inside of images as well, which is quite nice. So also what you can do with this application, you can delete a particular page if you don't want it. You can email a page, or you can create additional pages on the iPad. And again, that will be synchronized throughout all of your different devices that connect to your live account in the cloud. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. And to let you know, I've got a giveaway coming up at the end of the week where you can be winning some prizes. And also I've got a big giveaway coming up in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned to the channel. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. Click the like if you liked this video. And I'll catch you all in the next video.